Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This is NAB Show Live. Ryan Saddles are here with another edition of NAB Show Live and Broadcast Beats pre-NAB Show coverage. Today we have a special guest all the way from New York City, Harry Tolan with NextGuard. How you doing, sir? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Doing excellent. So we're certainly getting pumped up for the show. Um, we want to talk about NextGuard, how you guys got started and what you do. Yes, um, it's, it's good. So uh, NextGuard is a business unit of Civilution. Uh, we've been uh, in business for about 10 years uh, as an independent company, so we we do forensic watermarking, and that means we protect the content of our customers, uh, both in uh, pre-release, uh, before content is released, and content that's typically TV shows and movies, and uh, in digital cinema. 99% um, of the digital cinemas in the world have uh, Civilution NextGuard watermarking. And then we also protect it um, uh, on the subscriber level with pay TV operators like uh, in satellite cable, IPTV, and OTT. Harry, if you could, go ahead and tell us about your U.S. customers. Well, so, um, you know, anti-piracy is typically quite, uh, quite sensitive. Uh, so, so some of our customers may not, uh, may not want to talk about uh, anti-piracy too much. Uh, but uh, all of the major Hollywood studios are our customers. I can imagine they have the most uh, valuable content. But over the last, uh, I would say, five, six years also, we've had more and more TV uh, customers. I mean, TV content. If you look at the TV shows, there's more and more higher budget. Um, uh, so we are very fortunate and, uh, and happy that AMC was uh, willing to also talk about it a bit more when, we, uh, when, when they started to deploy NextGuard next, uh, last year. So basically, we, we issued a press release a couple of weeks ago about this. Uh, so basically, they, if you look at AMC, I mean, they've grown a lot. They have a lot of original content, which they also um, you, you could say distribute around the world uh, nowadays. I think in uh, 44 different language areas, uh, they have, a lo lo have to do a lot of, um, of customization, localization, uh, do dubbing, subtitling, um, and of course, also local promotion and so on. And, and nowadays, all of these shows are, are broadcast at the same time, uh, day and date around the world. And that means that actually they have to do a lot of uh, distribution of this content before the airing date in the States. Uh, and that's the reason they, I mean, when they do this, for instance, if, uh, if one of their partners has to, to subtitle or dub, uh, they make sure that they deliver them a watermarked version. And in that way, uh, the, basically, all of the partners are, uh, know that, um, I mean, whatever they do, if they would leak the content, it can be traced back to them. Uh, and that has, uh, AMC has told us that this has uh, cut down on piracy a lot. Uh, and so it's helping them in that sense a lot. Uh. Harry, how is content piracy evolving and how the heck do you solve it? Um, so, I mean, uh, solving, I mean, uh, so it, it's difficult to imagine that at some point there would be zero piracy. I mean, that, that would probably not happen. But of course, it's important that, I mean, uh, all of the, uh, the content owners want to protect their revenue. And uh, the lower the piracy is, the, the higher the revenue will be. That, that's very clear. So if you look at how piracy has evolved, it's evolved in a way that maybe five or ten years ago, a lot of the piracy was through pay TV operators, for instance, where they, they would uh, hack uh, the, the control cards. Um, or copy the control words, and or they would there would be uh, let's say uh, boxes, pirate boxes in the field. Nowadays, it's it's become much simpler. Uh, it's quite easy to uh, you can camcord a, a video from a screen, or you can get it from a digital output, uh, where it's quite easy to hack the the, the protection. Uh, and in that sense, uh, after that, it's very easy to to basically just dis distribute it over the internet. Uh, so the fact that uh, that broadband is now so ubiquitous actually has changed piracy a lot. Uh, so this uh, what we call illegal redistribution, that's really the face of piracy nowadays. Harry, what will you guys be showing at the 2016 NAB show? Uh, so um, let's say the industry is evolving and that uh, means that also watermarking uh, has to evol evolve. Last year, we, we showed a lot of, uh, of UHD. Uh, so so watermarking has been also adapted to, to, to handle UHD. And of course, for UHD, it's even more important because uh, the, the studios and the content owners want to uh, basically, I mean, you could say, uh, have, get revenue from this uh, UHD asset for the next uh, 10 years. And that wouldn't be good if it's pirated uh, in, the first, uh, in the first month. Uh, this year, a lot of the focus will be on HDR, uh, so high dynamic range. Uh, so this is one of the of the, um, yeah, I mean, the, let's say the focus points of the NAB, we believe. And what we are showing is also that our watermarking technology has also been adapted for HDR. Uh, so that's one of the, the, the things that we're showing. Uh, and of course, for the rest, uh, uh, there's a lot of focus on OTT. Uh, and, and we also show solutions basically to watermark OTT. Uh. 
All right, Harry Tolan, Managing Director at NextGuard in New York City. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. We'll certainly see you at the 2016 NAB show. Go ahead and share your booth number, sir. Yes, uh, so our customers can, can see us. We're in the directory for both Civolution and NextGuard. Um, we're in the South Upper Hall in uh, booth 3424. Three, so please come and see us. Sir.